Namaste. I'm Caroline, and this is Energy Balance Vinyasa. Today's practice is what I like to call Walk of Fire Vinyasa. This is a slow flow that combines some of the most challenging poses into a full practice that is designed to improve strength and physical conditioning. Each posture will be held for 30 seconds or 5 breaths and 15 seconds or 2.5 breaths for additional repetitions. Before we begin, I will cover some important health and safety information that you should know. Before beginning this or any other exercise program, you should consult with a physician to make sure that practicing yoga is appropriate for you. If you have high or low blood pressure, spinal problems, or any other medical conditions or injuries, consult with your doctor to see if any modifications are necessary for your practice. If you are pregnant, you should be in a prenatal yoga class. If during the practice, you feel any pain or discomfort, you can return to the previous pose, take a child's pose, or come into supine bent knees. You should avoid this pose until a physician can be consulted to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Be safe and enjoy your practice. Now let's begin. Come to sitting in a cross-legged seat. Fold your legs in and tuck each foot under the opposite knee. Rest your hands on your knees. For easy pose, Sukhasana. Press down through your sit bones, lengthening the spine. Inhale. Exhale and draw the shoulders down and back. Engage the core and gaze straight ahead. Now take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale into the lower abdomen, feeling it expanding. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine. Next, inhale into the upper abdomen, expanding the rib cage. Exhale. Then inhale into the chest, all the way up to the collarbones. Exhale. Now let's combine these three movements into one stepped breath. Breath. 
first. Inhale into the lower abdomen, then pause. Inhale into the upper abdomen, pause. Then inhale into the chest and hold here. Next, exhale from the chest, hold. Exhale from the upper abdomen and hold. Lastly, exhale from the lower abdomen. This is one round of Durga Pranayama or a complete yogic breath. Repeat this process a total of 10 times. Inhale into the lower abdomen. Inhale into the upper abdomen. Inhale into the chest and pause. Then exhale from the chest. Exhale out of the upper abdomen and exhale from the lower abdomen and pause. As you go, if you wish, you may eliminate the pauses between your inhales and exhales, allowing the breath to travel up and down in one smooth wave. Inhale from the lower abdomen to the upper abdomen to the chest and up to the collarbones. Then exhale your way back down. Now release this pattern while continuing to breathe deeply, inhaling with each expansion of the body and exhaling with each contraction. Now plant your hands on the mat in front of you. Then exhale and roll over the shins, bringing the tops of your feet and the shins to the mat. Tuck the toes, engage your core, and press through the hands and feet to lift your hips up and back or downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Let your arms frame your ears. Keep the shoulders down and the chest open. Your feet should be about hip width apart. With the legs straight and your heels to the mat if possible. Gaze between the feet or the ankles. Exhale, inhale, and rise up onto your tiptoes. Then exhale, and slowly lower your knees to the mat. For table pose, arm and asana. Walk your knees back so they are in line with the hips. And make sure that your shoulders are stacked over your wrists. Your calves should be parallel 
and the neck in line with the spine. Gaze down between your palms. Inhale. Exhale to cat pose. Marjariasana. Rounding the spine. Engage your core and draw the navel up towards the spine. Tuck your tailbone. Press down through the hands and tuck the chin in towards your chest. Gaze between your thighs. Inhale to cow pose. Vitalasana. Arching your spine by pressing the hips down and lifting your tailbone up towards the sky. Draw the shoulder blades down and back, opening and lifting the chest. Look straight ahead, lifting the chin slightly. Then exhale and bring the spine back to a neutral position for table pose. Inhale. Exhale. Blank on the knee. Inhale and step the knees back about six to eight inches, keeping the shins and the tops of the feet flat to the mat. Then exhale and shift the shoulders forward so that the knees, hips, and shoulders form one long line. Round down through the knees and the tops of the feet. Spread your fingers and root down through your palms. Avoid locking the elbows. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, press down through the hands. Exhale, keep the core strongly engaged, drawing your navel in towards the spine. Reverse corpse pose, add vasana. Inhale, engage your core. Then exhale, bend your elbows straight back and start to slowly lower yourself down to the mat. Keep your core engaged and your hips lifted so that your shoulders and hips come to rest on the mat at the same time. Separate your legs about hip distance apart with the tops of your feet to the mat. Rest your arms by your sides with the palms facing down. Rest your forehead on the mat. Close your eyes or gaze down at the mat. Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana. Bring your hands to the mat underneath your shoulders. Draw your shoulder blades together and keep your elbows hugged in to the sides of your body. Root your hips down into the mat. Keep your legs and feet flat to the mat. Then push down through the hands and start to lift your head and your chest up off the mat. Inhale, draw your shoulder blades together, opening the chest. Exhale and slightly tuck the chin to lengthen the back of the neck. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Pull the mat back with your hands and reach the chest forward. Inhale. Then exhale and lower your chest and shoulders back down to the mat. 
to Advasana. Bring your forehead to the mat. And rest your arms by your sides. Close your eyes or gaze down at the mat. Inhale and bring your hands to the mat under your armpits. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale. Then inhale and lift your head and chest up off the mat. Press down through the hands, straightening the arms as you arch through the back and lift the chest or upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Your shoulders should be stacked over the wrists. Draw your shoulder blades down and back, opening up the chest. Gaze forward, keeping your neck soft and in line with the spine. Then exhale, flip the feet, Tuck the toes and send the hips up and back or downward facing dog. Press through the heels of the hands, draw the navel in and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and rise up onto your tiptoes. Then exhale, bend your knees deeply and gaze towards your hands. Inhale, exhale and slowly walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, then exhale and fold. Press the hips up while drawing the navel in towards the spine. Bring your hands up to grab for opposite elbows. Keep your neck soft and let the head hang. As you swing gently from the hips, from side to side. For ragdoll pose, Uttanasana 2. Release your hands down to the floor. Then slowly roll up to Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Inhale. Exhale. Roll the shoulders down and back, straightening the spine. Let your arms fall by your sides with the palms open and facing forward. Engage the core. Gaze forward. Now inhale deeply. Then as you exhale, create a soft sound by slightly constricting your throat. It should sound like a whisper or a sigh but while keeping the mouth closed. Contract your lower abdomen and navel at the end of the exhale. Then try to maintain this subtle contraction as you inhale, allowing the breath to rise and expand up into the chest and the rib cage all the way up to the collarbones. This is one round of Ujjayi breath. Repeat this process a total of 10 times, letting the breath flow smoothly 
and evenly, like the waves on an ocean. Inhale. Ujjayi. Exhale. Now, as you continue with your practice, try to maintain this breathing technique. Or you can return to it whenever you are feeling challenged to help you breathe and focus in the pose. I prayer Urdva Hastasana. Exhale, engage your core. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead alongside your ears, bringing your palms to touch. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back, keeping an open chest. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, up through the crown of your head. Exhale, draw the navel in towards the spine and gaze up towards your hands. Prayer hands and Jolly Mudra. Inhale, exhale, and lower the hands. To heart center, gazing straight ahead. Draw your shoulder blades down and back, opening the chest. Lengthen through the spine to the crown of your head. Engage your core by drawing the navel in towards your spine. Then inhale and reach your hands up and overhead. Your arms alongside your ears with your palms together for high prayer. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale and engage your core. Gaze up towards your hands. Standing forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, then exhale and start to fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down. Keep your back straight and engage your core and quadriceps as you fold. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Inhale, exhale. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Avoid locking the knees. 
Gaze forward towards your shins. Standing half forward bend. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale. Inhale and lift up halfway, keeping your fingertips to the floor. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your back straight, drawing your shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Utita Ashwa Sanchalanasana. Exhale and step your left leg back into a lunge. Place your hands on either side of the right foot. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle. The back heel is lifted and points straight up towards the ceiling. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale. Exhale and lower your left knee down to the mat. Untuck your toes, bringing your shin and the top of your foot flat against the mat. Inhale. Check to make sure that the right knee is stacked directly over the ankle. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the left hip through to the crown of the head. Crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, engage your core. Then inhale and sweep your arms up overhead and lift your torso so they are perpendicular to the mat. Let your arms frame your ears and the palms face each other. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down and back and open the chest. Inhale, maintain a straight spine and slightly tuck the chin to lengthen the back of the neck. Gaze straight ahead. Exhale. Inhale, reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep your arms down, bringing them back to the mat on either side of the right foot. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the left hip through to the crown of the head. Exhale, untuck the back toes. Then inhale and lift the back knee into a lunge pose. Check to make sure that the right knee is still stacked directly over the ankle and that the left heel points straight up towards the ceiling. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Plank pose, Balakasana. Inhale and step the right foot back beside the left. Exhale and shift the shoulders forward so they are in line with the wrists. Root down through the balls of your feet. Spread your fingers and root down through your palms. Avoid locking the elbows or knees. Gaze down towards the mat. Draw your shoulders down and back and keep the core strongly engaged. 
drawing your navel up towards the spine. Inhale, untuck your toes, bringing the tops of your feet to the mat. Sink your hips down while arching through the back and lifting the chest. Press down through the hands and keep the hips and thighs lifted off the mat or upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Then exhale, flip the feet, tuck the toes, and send the hips up and back for downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press through the heels of the hands, draw the navel in, and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale. Exhale. Engage the core and walk the hands back towards your feet. Then inhale. Press down through the hands. Straighten the elbows and lift up halfway, keeping a flat back. Exhale. Check to make sure that the feet are parallel to one another. Keep a slight bend in the knees and elbows. Inhale and reach through the crown of your head towards the front of your mat, lengthening the spine. Exhale and take a slight bend in the knees. Engage your core. Then inhale and sweep the arms up and overhead as you come up to standing, coming into star pose. Your arms should frame your ears with the palms facing each other. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Engage the core and tuck in the tailbone. Exhale. With each inhale, reach up through the hands to stretch the shoulders. Then draw the shoulders down and back with each exhale. Gaze straight ahead. Goddess pose, Utkata Konasana. Inhale, exhale, engage your core. Inhale, turn your toes out to a 45 degree angle. Spread the toes and root down through the feet. Then exhale, bend your knees and sit back into your hips into a wide squat position. Keep your knees stacked over the ankles and pointing in the same direction as the toes. Exhale and sweep the arms down, bringing the hands to rest on the thighs just above the knees. Keep the gaze forward. Inhale, press down through the feet, engage your glutes, and straighten your legs. As you sweep the arms up overhead, coming back to star pose. Engage the core and tuck in the tailbone. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Draw the shoulders down and back. Exhale. Continue to gaze straight ahead. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms down and out to the sides and start to fold forward, bending from the hips, keeping a straight spine as you fold. Come down about halfway and bring your hands to the mat. Inhale and reach through the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Lengthening the spine. Exhale. Inhale. And walk the hands forward. 
towards the top of your mat. Then exhale and press the hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Press through the heels of the hands, draw the navel in and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale, three-legged dog, tripada, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale and step your right foot in towards the center of your mat. Engage your core, drawing the navel in towards your spine. Then inhale and lift your left leg and reach your toes to the sky. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your neck soft and in line with the spine. Gaze towards your right foot or ankle. Keep the lifted leg in line with the hips, the shoulders, and the arms, creating one long line from your heel to your hands. Udhita Ashwa Sanchalanasana Exhale, draw the left knee in towards your nose. Then set your left foot down in between your hands. Adjust the right foot so that the heel is in line with the right hip or lunge pose. Keep your back foot flexed so that it rests on the ball of the foot. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle and that the back heel is lifted and points straight up towards the ceiling. Avoid locking the knee. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Warrior 1, Virabhadrasana 1. Slightly widen your stance. Set the heel of your left foot down to the mat and turn the toes out at a 45 degree angle. Make sure that the front knee is stacked directly over the ankle. Root both feet down into the mat. Then inhale and sweep both arms up and overhead so that they frame your ears. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. Exhale. Engage your core, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Gaze forward. Inhale and reach up through the hands. Then exhale. Sweep the arms down and fold forward bringing the hands to the mat on either side of the left foot. Pivot the right foot to face forward towards the front of your mat, coming up onto the ball of the foot and lifting the heel. Exhale and bend into the left knee, sinking the hips down into a lunge position. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle. The hips are squared and the back heel points straight up towards the ceiling. Gaze down at the mat. Exhale. Inhale and step the right foot up next to the left. Then exhale and fold forward for Uttanasana. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Inhale and lift up halfway bringing your hands up to your shins or ankles or standing half forward bend. 
Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Then exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips or standing forward bend. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards the spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, bend your knees deeply and sit back into your hips. Then inhale and sweep your arms up to frame your ears with the palms facing each other. Keep your hips squared and your back straight. Engage your core. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. Gaze forward. Inhale and reach up through the hands. Exhale, bend into the knees and sink the hips down a little lower. Then inhale, press down through the heels, straighten the knees and reach the hands up. For Urdhva Hastasana, hands to sky. Your arms should be alongside your ears with the palms apart and facing each other. Gaze straight ahead. Engage the quadriceps, lifting the kneecaps. Lengthen through the spine. Draw the navel in and tuck the tailbone. Exhale and sweep the arms down by your sides to Tadasana. Draw your shoulders down and back. Engage the core. Gaze forward. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead, alongside your ears, bringing your palms to touch for Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale and engage your core. Gaze up towards your hands. Inhale, Exhale and lower the hands to heart center, gazing straight ahead. Draw your shoulders down and back, engage your core. Exhale, then inhale and reach your hands up and overhead. Your arms alongside your ears with your palms together or high prayer. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale and engage your core. Gaze up towards your hands. Inhale, exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down keeping a straight spine as you fold for Uttanasana. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Inhale and lift up halfway keeping your fingertips to the floor for Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. 
reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Then exhale and step your right leg back into a lunge, placing your hands on either side of the left foot. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, exhale, and lower your right knee down to the mat. Untuck your toes, bringing your shin and the top of your foot flat against the mat. Inhale, check to make sure that the left knee is stacked directly over the ankle. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the right hip through to the crown of the head. Crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Exhale. Engage your core, then inhale and sweep your arms up overhead and lift your torso so they are perpendicular to the mat. Let your arms frame your ears and the palms face each other. Exhale, draw your shoulder blades down and back and open the chest. Inhale, maintain a straight spine and slightly tuck the chin to lengthen the back of the neck. Gaze straight ahead. Inhale, reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep your arms down, bringing them back to the mat on either side of the left foot. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Inhale and lengthen through the spine, creating one long line from the right hip through to the crown of the head. Exhale, untuck the back toes, then inhale and lift the back knee into a lunge. Continue to gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Inhale and step the left foot back beside the right. Exhale and shift the shoulders forward so they are in line with the wrists for plank pose. Root down through the balls of your feet. Spread your fingers and root down through your palms. Avoid locking the elbows or knees. Gaze down at the mat. Inhale. Untuck your toes. Bring the tops of your feet to the mat. Sink your hips down while arching through the back and lifting the chest. Press down through the hands and keep the hips and thighs lifted off the mat for upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Then exhale, flip the feet, tuck the toes and send the hips up and back for downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press down through the heels of the hands. Draw the navel in and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale. Exhale. Engage the core and walk the hands back towards your feet. Then inhale. Press down through the hands. Straighten the elbows and lift up halfway, keeping a flat back. 
exhale, inhale, and reach through the crown of your head towards the front of your mat, lengthening the spine. Exhale, take a slight bend in the knees and engage your core. Then inhale and sweep the arms up and overhead, coming into star pose. Engage the core and tuck in the tailbone. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Draw the shoulders down and back. Exhale, gaze forward. Goddess pose, Utkata Konasana. Inhale, turn your toes out at a 45 degree angle. Spread the toes and root down through the feet. Then exhale, bend your knees and sit back into your hips into a wide squat position. Keep your knees stacked over the ankles. Exhale and sweep the arms down, bringing the hands to rest on the knees. Continue to gaze straight ahead. Inhale, press down through the feet. Engage your glutes and straighten your legs. As you sweep the arms up and overhead, coming back to star pose. Engage the core and tuck in the tailbone. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Draw the shoulders down and back. Exhale, keep the gaze forward. Inhale, exhale. Sweep the arms down and out to the sides and start to fold forward, bending from the hips, keeping a straight spine as you fold. Come down about halfway and bring your hands to the mat. Inhale and reach through the crown of your head towards the front of your mat, lengthening the spine. Exhale, inhale, and walk the hands forward towards the top of your mat. Then exhale and press the hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Press through the heels of the hands, draw the navel in, and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale, three-legged dog, tripada, addo, mukha, spanasana. Exhale, and step your left foot in towards the center of your mat. Engage your core, drawing the navel in towards your spine. Then inhale, and lift your right leg and reach your toes to the sky. Avoid locking the knees or the elbows. Keep your neck soft and in line with the spine. Gaze towards your left foot or ankle. Keep the lifted leg in line with the hips, the shoulders, and the arms, creating one long line from your heel to your hands. Inhale, exhale, and draw the right knee in towards your nose. Then set your right foot down in between your hands. Adjust your left foot so that the heel is in line with the left hip or lunge pose. Keep your back foot flexed so that it rests on the ball of the foot. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle and that the back heel points straight up towards the ceiling. Gaze down at the mat. Warrior 1, Virabhadrasana 1, 
slightly widen your stance. Set the heel of your right foot down to the mat and turn the toes out at a 45 degree angle. Make sure that the front knee is stacked directly over the ankle. Root both feet down into the mat. Then inhale and sweep both arms up and overhead so that they frame your ears. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. Exhale. Engage your core, drawing the navel in towards the spine. Gaze forward. Inhale and reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep the hands down to the mat on either side of the right foot. Pivot the left foot to face forward towards the front of your mat. Coming up onto the ball of the foot and lifting the heel. Exhale and bend into the right knee, sinking the hips down into a lunge position. Make sure that the knee is stacked directly over the ankle. The hips are squared and the back heel points straight up. Gaze down at the mat. Inhale and step the left foot up next to the right. Then exhale and fold forward for Uttanasana. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Inhale and lift up halfway, bringing your hands up to your shins or ankles or standing half forward bend. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Then exhale and fold forward, bending from the hips or standing forward bend. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees deeply and sit back into your hips. Then inhale and sweep your arms up to frame your ears, the palms facing each other or chair pose. Exhale. Bend into the knees and sink the hips a little lower. Then inhale, press down through the heels, straighten the knees, and reach the hands up for Urdhva Hastasana, hands to sky. Your arms should be alongside your ears with the palms apart and facing each other. Gaze straight ahead. Inhale, reach up through the hands. Then exhale and sweep the arms down by your sides to Tadasana. Draw your shoulders down and back. Engage the core and keep the gaze forward. Inhale and bring your palms up to touch at heart center to Anjali Mudra. Exhale, draw your shoulders down and back. Keep your core engaged and gaze forward. Then inhale 
and reach your hands up and overhead, your arms alongside your ears with your palms together or high prayer, Urdva Hastasana. Exhale, draw the shoulders down and back. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale and engage your core. Gaze up towards your hands. Inhale, then exhale and fold forward. Bending from the hips while sweeping your arms down. Keeping a straight spine as you fold. For standing forward bend. Uttanasana. Press your hips up while drawing your navel in towards your spine. Bring your forehead towards your shins or knees and rest your hands on the floor by your feet. Gaze forward towards your shins. Inhale and lift up halfway, keeping your fingertips to the floor or standing half forward bend, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, reaching the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Gaze down towards the floor. Exhale, take a slight bend in the knees and firmly plant both hands on the mat. Then inhale and step the feet back to plank pose, Balakasana. Exhale and shift the shoulders forward so they are in line with the wrists and lower the hips, forming one long line from your heels to your shoulders through to the crown of your head, root down through the balls of your feet, spread your fingers and root down through your palms. Avoid locking the elbows or knees. Gaze down towards the mat. Inhale, engage your core. Then exhale, lower your knees down to the mat and slowly lower yourself down to the mat to Advasana. Separate your legs about hip distance apart. Rest your arms by your sides. And rest your forehead on the mat. Locust pose, Shalabhasana. Exhale, root your hips and belly down into the mat. Engage your core and your back muscles. Then inhale and start to lift your head, shoulders, and chest up off the mat. Lift your arms off the mat with the palms facing down. Engage your quadriceps and squeeze your inner thighs and glute muscles to lift your feet, shins, and the lower thighs off the mat as well. Point the toes. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears, opening and lifting the chest. Inhale. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Then exhale and release everything back down to the mat. Bring your forehead to the mat and rest your arms by your sides. Close your eyes or gaze down at the mat.
again. Exhale, root your hips down to the mat. Engage your core and your back muscles. Then inhale and lift your arms, chest, and legs up off the mat. Coming back to locust pose. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening and lifting the chest. Inhale, gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Then exhale and release everything back down to the mat. Bring your forehead to the mat and rest your arms by your sides. Close your eyes or gaze down at the mat. And one more time. Exhale. Root your hips down to the mat. Engage your core and your back muscles. Then inhale and lift your arms, chest, and legs up off the mat. Varshala Basana. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening and lifting the chest. Inhale. Gaze down at the mat at a 45 degree angle. Then exhale and release everything back down to the mat. Bring your forehead to the mat and rest your arms by your sides. Close your eyes or gaze down at the mat. Now inhale and bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Engage the core. Then exhale and press through the hands and the knees, sending the hips up and back, coming into table pose, arm and asana. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck the toes. Engage your core and press through the hands and feet to lift your hips up and back. For downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Press through the heels of the hands, draw the navel in, and reach up and back through the tailbone to come higher. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and rise up onto your tiptoes. Then exhale and slowly lower your knees down to the mat. Cross your lower legs and roll over your shins for staff bent knees. Come to sit with your knees bent and the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Keep your feet and knees about hip distance apart. Place your hands by your hips Press through your sit bones and lengthen your spine. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. Gaze forward. Inhale and extend your legs straight out in front of you. For staff pose, Dandasana. Place your palms on the mat on either side of your hips. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, engage your core. Relax your shoulders and gaze straight ahead. Seated forward bend, Hashimotanasana. Inhale and lengthen up through the spine. Then exhale and begin to bend forward from the hips. 
keeping a straight spine as you fold. Try to lay your torso flat against your thighs and let your hands come to rest on the knees, shins, ankles, or feet. Gaze down towards your shins. Exhale, draw your shoulders down and back and engage your core. Inhale and lengthen. Then exhale and fold forward a little deeper. Inhale and lengthen forward. Exhale and fold. Then inhale and keeping the spine long. Lift back up to staff pose. Place your palms on the mat on either side of your hips. Gaze forward. Exhale. Inhale. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Or staff bent knees. Inhale. Press through your sit bones and lengthen your spine to sit tall. Exhale. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. Supine bent knees. Inhale and raise your arms up so that they are parallel to the floor with your hands by your knees or place your hands behind your hips with the fingers pointing towards your glutes. Then exhale and slowly lower yourself down and back into a supine position lowering one vertebrae at a time. Keep your knees bent and pointing to the sky. Your knees and feet hip distance apart and rest your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Wind relieving pose, Pavana Muktasana. Exhale and engage your core. Then inhale and raise your knees up towards your chest. Keep your legs squeezed together and mildly point the toes. Exhale. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale. Relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest, gaze up towards the ceiling, inhale, exhale, and lower your feet back down to the mat for supine bent knees. The soles of your feet should be flat to the floor. Your knees and feet should be about hip distance apart. Place your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Again, exhale and engage your core. Then inhale and raise your knees up towards your chest for wind relieving pose. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale. Relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. Inhale. Exhale and lower your feet back down to the mat for supine bent knees. The soles of your feet should be flat to the floor. Your knees and feet should be about hip distance apart. Place your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. And one more time. Exhale and engage your core. Then inhale and raise your knees up towards your chest. 
coming back to Pavana Mukhtasana. Inhale and bring your hands up to hold your knees. Exhale, relax back and hug your knees in towards your chest. And finally, take a deep breath in. Then release everything down into Shavasana. Lying on your back with your eyes closed. Let your feet fall open to the side. Slightly more than hip width apart. Let your arms rest by your sides slightly away from the body with the palms face up and open just rest here for a few moments taking slow deep breaths Feel your whole body relaxing. Feel it melting into the floor with each exhale. Now begin to lengthen your exhales. Breathing in for a count of four. Pausing for a count of one. Then breathing out for six counts. And pausing for a count of one at the end of the exhale. Repeat this process 10 times, breathing into the abdomen. Feeling the navel rise with each inhale and draw in towards the spine with each exhale Now release this pattern while continuing to breathe deeply. Just observe the breath without trying to control it.
just observe your breath as you inhale, then exhale. Feel the sensations of breathing in your body. Let your attention focus on wherever you feel your breath most noticeably. If you feel your mind starting to wander, know that this is normal. Just notice that this is happening. Acknowledge the thoughts and let them go. Then bring your awareness back to your breath. Now bring your awareness back to your body. Feel your whole body relaxing. Feel it melt into the floor with each exhale. Now bring your awareness to your head, feel it relaxing, feel it melting into the floor on the next exhale, let it be heavy, bring your awareness to your face, relax your face. Bring your awareness to your jaw. Relax your jaw. Bring your awareness to your neck. Relax your neck. Now bring your awareness to your shoulders. Feel them relaxing. Feel them melting into the floor. On the next exhale, let all the tension go. Now bring your awareness to your arms. Bring your awareness to your left arm, the upper arm, the lower arm, the left hand. Fill your whole left arm relaxing. Now bring your awareness to your right arm. Feel the upper arm, the lower arm, the right hand. Feel the whole right arm relaxing. 
Now feel both of your arms together. Feel them relaxing. Feel them melting into the floor on the next exhale. Let them be heavy. Now bring your awareness to your torso. Focus on the chest. Feel the abdomen, the navel. Bring your awareness to your upper back, the middle back, the lower back. Feel your whole back relaxing. Feel it melt into the floor on the next exhale. Now bring your awareness to your hips, the glutes, and the sit bones. Feel them relaxing. Feel them melting into the floor on the next exhale. Let all the tension release. Bring your awareness to your legs. Bring your awareness to your left leg. The upper leg, the lower leg, the left foot. Feel the whole left leg relaxing. Now feel the right leg, the upper leg, the lower leg, the right foot. Feel your whole right leg relaxing. Now feel both of your legs together. Feel both of your legs relaxing. Feel them melt into the floor on the next exhale. Let them be heavy. Now bring your awareness back to your body. Feel your whole body together. Feel your whole body relaxing. Feel it melting into the floor with each exhale. Just relax. Just let everything go. Now bring your awareness back to your breath for a few more moments. Relax and breathe deeply.
now inhale and open your eyes. Open and close your eyes three times slowly. Awaken. This concludes the practice. I wish you peace, contentment, and bliss. Om Shanti, Santosha, Ananda.